Audio Jungle. Ministers, as usual, brought in council memos for deliberation. I'm going to take you all through that. But very importantly, there are very important decisions taken by the Federal Executive Council today concerning the realignment and renaming of some ministries. I recall that in his continuous desire to ensure that government is always being streamlined to bring about greater efficiency for the public good. The administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has taken yet a very uh, thorough decision of reviewing some of the ministries as we have them today. And let me announce that the Aswild Ministry of Niger Delta has now been renamed Ministry of Regional Development. Now, recall that apart from the Niger Delta, there are other regional bodies that have been set up by government and that have been also assented to by the National Assembly. So the president and members of council today took a decision to rename that ministry so that all these other regional bodies will come other under this new ministry of regional uh, development. In other words, uh, the Northwest Development Commission, Southeast Development Commission, and all those commissions and all those regional uh, bodies set up by, by government are now being brought under the Ministry of Niger Delta. I'm oh, sorry, Ministry of uh, uh, Regional Development. Second, there is also the winding down of the Ministry of Sports Development. There is no longer, from today, the Ministry of Sports Development. All activities and programs of the Ministry of Sports Development are now being brought under the National Sports Commission. Number three, the Ministry of Tourism has also been scrapped. Uh, activities of that ministry are now being brought under the Ministry of Arts, Culture, Tourism, and Creative Economy. So that ministry will now be called Ministry of Arts, Culture, Tourism, and Creative Economy. Now, this is in addition to some other announcements that will follow later in the day. If you could recall, on the 23rd of September 2024, the Federal Executive Council constituted a committee, a technical committee, to assess dams across the country. And membership of that committee were a Minister of Water Resources and Sanitation, Minister of Information, Minister of Finance, Minister of Budget and National Economy, Minister of uh, Environment, Minister of Housing and Urban Development, the National Security Advisor. So this committee we, was inaugurated on the 2nd of October and the, a subcommittee was being constituted. At the moment, the committee is moving around. Uh, we want to uh, appeal with the press to support this committee, because at the moment now, the committee has been constituted into two teams, team A and team B. The team A is now in Bauchi State, they were in Plateau State ECD, 
They are embouching now. They will be moving to Gombe State. From Gombe State, will be, they will proceed to Adamawa State. While the team B moved to Delta State, today they are in Enugu State. They will be moving to Cross River. So that is how they are moving around. And by the grace of God, we are going to cover about 36 critical dams in the country before we go on to the second phase of the dams. We are the reports can now be generated for Nigerians and briefing will be given out. In today's Federal Executive Council meeting, FEC has approved the award of contract for the construction of greater Dutse water supply project in Jigawa State. And this, was, this is aimed at serving about 1.5 million people of uh, Jigawa State. And this project will be powered using solar energy. Using solar energy, what is aimed is at reducing that emission of carbon dioxide. As we all know, this is a key factor in bringing about climate change. So with the introduction of solar energy, empowering this system, that can be eradicated. And as well, it will reduce the maintenance of flooding within that particular vicinity. That's not all. Again, the Federal Executive Council also approved the award of contract for the rehabilitation of Bruku Boko Water Supply Project in Benue State. Here also, this will also be powered by solar energy. This is envisaged as serving about 506,000 residents within the Amaladu axis that will spin to Boko, Ushongu, and other parts of Bruku local government. So those are the activities that us a mat in the Federal Executive Council today under the Federal Ministry of Water Resources and Sanitation. That today we brought a memo on behalf of the PTDF, which is the Petroleum Technology Development Fund, that had initiated a program called the PTDF STEM Fund. STEM is Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Some time ago, the PTDF, which is the creation of law, you know, we demanded to build the capacity, you know, of um, Nigerians in oil and, you know, gas industry, came up with a program called PTDF Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics Program. They sort of obtained presidential approval. And today we brought a member of the council to be able to print one million science textbooks. The science courses, you know, that they identified that Nigerians have deficiency. Uh, um, physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, computer science, you know, and, you know, they just believe that for us to match up with the rest of the world, we needed to build the capacity at the secondary school level. And this program is meant to print one million textbooks, science textbooks that will be distributed to all the local government, 774 local government areas in the country, and also to support the 104 unity schools that we have in the country, and then the 122 special schools, secondary schools that we have in the country. This memo was brought before council, and it was approved by council. Essential what is important is that this is to support and build capacity at the secondary school level. For you to, you know, to mash up with the rest of the world in terms of technological and engineering development, you need to lay a very solid foundation. And some time ago, as part of the mandate, they found out that we're lagging behind. And so they decided that, look, they were going to build both physical and digital libraries. We brought a memo a few weeks ago, and that was approved by council, for PDDF to build, you know, digital, you know, and physical libraries in about a thousand secondary schools in the country. This is to complement that effort of the PTDF that had the mandate of build capacity in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Yeah, I really appreciate the information. And I want to clarify the fact that uh, it got to my knowledge yesterday that we are having long queues along uh, airport road at the NIPCO. And that project is private driving with NNPC. So I've written a letter to um, EVP gas to come and explain why we are having that long queues. 
And of course, when I was commissioning the, the CNG project at those stations, uh, we were supposed to have about uh, 12, which means they should be functional. And so with this further questioning on it, I can assure you after today's meeting with the, the NNPC, EVP gas will be able to address it. On the availability of gas, there is, there is availability of gas. It may be um, lack of the infrastructure that we mentioned. And like the president said today, we have to try as much as possible to provide infrastructure for the delivery of gas that will go beyond. What we produce in our country is more than enough for us to use as the CNG. And of course, you know, we are exporting to so many other countries. So bear it with us, and I'm going to address it and give you the feedback as soon as possible. On affordability, it is not produced in our country, Nigeria. We export it. You recall when GSM came in newly, uh, it is imported. Yeah, when GSM came in newly, the cost of buying the, the SIM cards was very high. And but as it goes in, you can afford it at a very lower rate. So I believe the more we have private in investors coming in to take advantage of this CNG project, the price would drastically come down. For now, that is the price because it is imported. Mm -hmm. And we are still negotiating on even producing those kits in our country, Nigeria, which means the price will drastically come down when we get to that level. Audio jumping.